Is it a helicopter that flies like an airplane or an airplane that flies like a helicopter? Whatever it is, you can own one in 2017. Hello everyone, it's Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from HAI in Orlando, Florida. And Augusta Westland has announced it's going into production with the AW609. Uh, the factory will be in Philadelphia, and here to tell us more about the project is test pilot Paul Edwards. So behind me is the AW609 tilt rotor, originally a, uh, a Bell and uh, Augusta uh, partnership, and um, Augusta have basically taken on the program for the past three years, um, which is about the time I got hired to be the test pilot. Um, powered by two uh, Pratt & Whitney PT6s, uh, 2,000 horsepower each, Top speed at 25,000 feet in a pressurized cabin of about 270 knots true. Um, we came over here from Dallas on Thursday with a 350 knot ground speed with a, with a good following wind. Uh, it takes nine passengers, two pilots, um, as I said, uh, up to 25,000 feet. It's, uh, it's a joy to fly. It's, uh, I, I came to the program with no tilt rotor experience. Uh, I, had, uh, I was rated for airplanes and for helicopters um, and it really didn't take long it's fly-by-wire it's designed to be easy to fly so uh, you know the, everything is going on and in, in the black boxes to make it easy to fly uh, it's uh, it flies like a helicopter when it's a helicopter and it flies like an airplane when it's an airplane and that's because that's the way the flight control engineers designed it to be so we, we see the market um, as pretty broad but but probably several niches is, is, is the way to describe it so we're looking at VIP, we've got a VIP mock-up here, um, uh, carrying six in the VIP mode. If you want to go for, from helipad to helipad, or even helipad to a runway and runway to a helipad, downtown uh, New York or uh, DC or London or Paris or Monte Carlo, this aircraft can get you to that helipad and get you there, you know, 600 miles uh, at speed. Um, from wherever you want to go from. Then, then we have uh, the parapublic search and rescue um, mock-up here as well. Um, this thing you can take off from a runway um, and go out there doing, doing 250 knots above the weather till you get to the scene of, scene of SAR, go twice the speed, more than twice the speed that I used to fly long range SAR at. And, uh, and, when you f and, do, and do the search as you would in a maritime patrol aircraft. So and then once you find it, convert to a helicopter, do the rescue, bring the survivors back at over twice the speed, um, back, to the, back to the hospital landing site. And there's the oil and gas, uh, oil rigs going further offshore, um, taking a long time to get there in helicopters. This thing will go again twice the speed and get, get them there in comfort and above the weather. And also if you need to evacuate because of weather, you can leave it longer to, to evacuate because this aircraft can get those people off quicker than anyone else. And finally, um, the, the, what we've been seeing here is a lot of interest from EMS, from what we call the, the medivac. So rather than driving your uh, um, intensive care patient to an airport, put them in the back of an airplane, fly them to another airport, drive them to, another, uh, to a hospital, why not take them from the hospital landing site direct to the other hospital landing site 500 miles away? The AW609 will be certified by 2017 and the aircraft will be built in Philadelphia. This has been Russ Niles reporting from HAI in Orlando. Thanks for watching.